Meron tayong bagong motor, uh, Yamaha XSR900. Uh, ito po ay magpapa-ECU reflash. So ang una nating uh, kailangan to reflash yung bike is dapat meron tayo nung uh, main harness at saka extension harness. So for XSR type 6 yung gamit. So as per instruction, una tanggalin yung upuan. And then to access the ECU, dapat matanggal yung mga panel. So, ito yung Yamaha extension harness pang XSR na kinabit namin sa ECU. Kailangan yung extension harness para magamit namin yung lug box to access the ECU habang magtutono kami sa dyno. So remember, yung process na gagawin namin is uh, i-reflash namin yung ECU then gagawa kami ng mga maps sa, sa dyno. Okay, so ngayon, bago kami mag-dyno, siguro bukas or the next day, uh, kailangan ko muna makuha yung mga data ng stock yung mga maps kung ano-ano yung mga stock na settings ng mga fuel map, ignition map flash tong XSR 900. So, i-check lang natin kung meron siyang mga check engine bago natin i-release. Okay. So, wala siyang full code. I-erase lang natin yung Are you sure? Okay. 
is turn ignition on with engine okay okay so cleared na siya ngayon green na po no fault code wala na tayong pending wala na tayong permanent fault code okay so same thing dito sa dash wala na yung kanyang check engine okay lah Hi guys, uh, good day sa lahat. Um, we'll just give you an update dun sa Yamaha XSR900 na uh, in ECU reflash namin plus uh, dyno tuning. So, let's, let's check. Okay, so bago tayo mag-proceed dun sa dyno result nung XSR900 saka in comparing dun sa spec sheet ng XSR900 uh, pakita lang namin yung kung ano yung, ano yung mga binago namin no? dun sa namin dun sa bike ni, nung, nung client So ideally um may mga adjustments na pwedeng baguhin dito sa ECU reflash. First yung fan temperature kung kailan siya mag uh, trigger, mag on and then kung kung kailan siya mag stop. So uh, initially, stop settings is 105 degrees. Tapos ibababa niya hanggang 100. Pagdating ng 100 100 degrees, magsi-shut off yung fan. So pwedeng i-set siya ng 100. Tapos, other items yung nag-disable kami ng top speed limiter. Kasi sa ngayon, may mga lumalabas na pag nag-dyno ka, nasa 225, ganun lang yung mga speed limiter. So, dinisable namin siya. Tapos, yung pair valve, dun sa popping sound, dinisable din namin. Uh, auto sensors, dinisable namin, din namin ito. Kasi ano lang naman yun, narrow band lang yung auto sensors na nakalagay. And then yung fuel cut. Ito yung pagka nag-off ka ng throttle. Ideally, is zero nung supply ng, ng gas. So, dinisable din namin yan. Okay, so aside from that, race tools. Wala naman siyang race tools. Uh, limiters, nag-set lang kami ng 11.5. Ang stock is 11.4. Uh, and then, yung ignition maps. Uh, hindi na namin ginala. Fuel maps. Meron dyan yung IAP TPS. So, ideally, <clears throat> dito yung mga ginagalaw namin. IAP, TPS, yung mga fuel maps. Okay. Ignition. Ginagaan ang ginaga, ginaga, ginagalaw yan. Then, for the other maps, Um, ito yung map ng throttle okay. ito yung map ng throttle So, yan yung travel map. So, yun lang. Yung mga ibang mga ginagalaw. No? So, you see your flash. Okay. So, puntahan natin yung dyno result in compare dun sa spec sheets. So, on paper, makikita natin Um, yung claim on paper na power output ng XSR900 is 102.8 horsepower. Uh, this is based on a rear wheel uh, horsepower. 
So, dun sa dyno results natin, that is based on rear wheel. Uh, kasi etong first, uh, uh, tawag dito, eto, yung 115 horsepower, this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, eto is crank horsepower. Okay, so for dyno, we use the rear wheel uh, horsepower. And for the torque, claim on papers, uh, it's uh, 59.4 pound foot. Okay, then in compare naman dito sa dyno results natin, we end up doing 112.32 horsepower that is almost 10 horsepower increase tapos sa torque uh, 62.54 uh, that is more than 3 more than 3 pound foot okay and isa sa mga na tune namin is uh, by the way yung XSR is naka full system na siya then naka air filter na KNN so yung full system plus the KNN yung initial na dyno nya is etong red and then yung chinun namin na graph is etong blue okay so starting from 3000 RPM uh, you will see a gain dun sa eto yung torque and then eto yung horsepower so, merong gain ka agad sa torque pagdating ng 3000 RPM. Okay? So, hanggang pagdating dito sa bago mag 6000 RPM. So, merong gain both horsepower and torque. Pagdating dito sa 6000, going 6000, probably 6700 RPM, halos nag-flat uh, lang, pumantay dun sa original na power nung full system tsaka air filter. And then, nag-gain na naman siya after 6,800 6, RPM going up. Okay? So, meron siyang increase hanggang top, both uh, horsepower and torque. Okay? So, for this one, uh, meron pa kami hindi nagagawa, which is yung uh, tuning ng throttle map. And we expect, after namin matune yung throttle map, yung power from might right might be here no uh, starting 9000 rpm we would expect a better gain hanggang top so let's see kung ano mangyayari after our next session ng ng dyno tuning okay so yan testing may gain mula simula hanggang dulo So guys, uh, yun lang muna yung update natin. Uh, we'll provide you again ng update once uh, nag-tune muli kami ng XSR 900. So this is JJ from Motoscope. See you next time.